Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Um, this afternoon on one of the news shows I watched an interview with a writer by the name of uh, David Ignatius who writes for the New York Times. And he mentioned that he had read some of Osama bin Laden's private papers that had been declassified. These papers were removed from bin Laden's compound after SEAL Team 6 killed him. Now anyone who has spent any time at all reading about Al-Qaeda and bin Laden understands that one of bin Laden's goals was to create a war between Islam and the rest of the world. So in his private papers bin Laden wrote that Barack Obama drove him crazy because he focused on Al-Qaeda and other terror groups while ending the war in Iraq and reaching out to the rest of the Muslim world. George W. Bush occasionally made pro-Islamic statements but the impression on the street in the Arab world was that he was anti-Muslim because he started two wars in Muslim countries. Bin Laden felt that Bush was the perfect foil. Obama drove Bin Laden so crazy that he was thinking of changing the name of Al-Qaeda to something else. Now I have no doubt that Bin Laden's successors in Al-Qaeda and the leaders of other terrorist groups are watching the election that we're having here with great interest. And I guarantee you that they are rooting for a right-wing takeover of this country. It would bring them closer to their goal of dividing the Muslims from the rest of the world. Look at Romney's handling of the recent violence in the Middle East. Now before our embassy was attacked, staffers tried to deter violence by condemning the video that was fueling the anger there in Egypt. And they released a statement condemning the video. Mitt Romney called this an apology. It wasn't, since this was not an act of the government or of the American people, there was nothing to apologize for. But Mitt Romney's statement appears to support the video as being akin to American values. Romney has still not condemned that video. And the reason for that is that many of his supporters on the right like it. They, like Osama bin Laden, would really like to see a war between Christianity and Islam. I have no doubt that the neocons who are advising Romney would be perfectly happy to give it to them. Rudy Giuliani is fond of telling a story about how on 9-11 he said to himself, thank God George Bush is president. I have no doubt that Osama bin Laden said the same thing. Now we have another election coming up. And watching Romney over the past week, I have no doubt that the Islamists would love to see Romney in the White House. Thanks for listening.